The Pay Countdown is running and the most important plastics trade fair in the world in Düsseldorf is approaching rapidly. We've taken on the task of visiting the most innovative mechanical and plant engineering companies in the German-speaking world. Today we are guests of the Cautex Maschinenbau Company in Bonn. Cautex was founded back in the year 1935. Cautex has its headquarters in Bonn. The company has additional facilities in China, USA, Russia, Italy and India. The company is led by the managing directors Dr. Olaf Weiland and Andreas Lichtenauer. More than 550 employees generate an annual turnover of around 110 million euro with the development and manufacture of extrusion blow molding machines. These are sold to customers in the consumer and industrial packaging industries as well as in the automotive industry and for various special applications. We'll meet Cautex Maschinenbau at the K-Trade Fair in Hall 14. During our visit in Bonn, I was welcomed by the chairman of the management board, Dr. Olaf Weiland, who explained to me which strategic goals he's aiming for. Industry 4.0, however, is definitely one of them. We're pressing ahead with the transition from hydraulic drives to servo electric drives to improve the system's efficiency. We're moving forward with the integration of process technology. We carry out processes now in the blow molding machines, which were previously done on the finishing line. And increasingly, we use simulation tools, not just in development, we've been doing that for years now, but also in the training of our own personnel and the personnel of our customers. Does this mean then that the virtual world is merging with the mechanical engineering? Several years ago we had the idea to reduce commissioning times by testing the software with a simulator before the machine is ready for operation. I'd very much like to see what goes on behind the scenes in your factory. Happily. Here we carry out the final assembly of fully electric machines. The machines are in different sizes for various clients. All of them share the characteristic that they're completely without hydraulic drives. Very compact machines, quiet, clean and at the same time very energy efficient machines and are well received on the market. Of course, Caltex Maschinenbau is a company one associates with the automotive industry. That's a very strong target market for you. That's but right. packaging machines too are becoming more and more important. Is that right? That's right. Over the last 10 years we've invested increasingly in developments in the packaging sector, not least because it's a global growth market and for that reason attractive to us. And our experience is that many of the learning steps that we took in other applications also so in the automotive sector, co-extrusion technology or high-grade automation, for example, are equally in demand in the packaging sector. We also employ traceability or automated quality control in the packaging sector, as we did previously in other segments. We've arrived now at an almost completed machine. Behind us one can see the control unit, which is the interface between the machine and the people who will ultimately use it. Industry 4.0 also faces the topic of usability so that one is still able to grasp and operate complex machinery. That's where we increasingly apply simulation technology, which we developed in-house with the most modern tools available, of course, and you should definitely take a look at that. I'd be happy to. Thank you very much for your time, Dr. Weiland. Thank you. We'll see each other again, latest, at your booth at the yes, K-Trade Fair in Düsseldorf. Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> Trübner, hello. Hello, Herr Marshall. Many ask themselves what the topic Industry 4.0 actually looks like in reality. Here, one can clearly see that you practice it every day. What are you doing here exactly? Here we have a group of new machine operators, and of course the risk during an introduction to operating the machine on the actual equipment is much too high, which is why we run a machine simulation here, which simulates the real machine and is connected to the real control program and the actual control hardware. In this way, the group of operators 
operators have an optimal user experience. But it is still absolutely accurate and realistic, which means that what your customers learn here, they can apply afterwards directly in their tough daily work. Exactly. And you've been doing this for many years. Right. We had a project with the bonn rhein Zeek University and the Dr. Reinhold Hagen Foundation, during which we developed this simulator. The exciting thing about this is that you're going to bring this topic, virtual machines and industry 4.0, with you to the K-Trade Fair in Düsseldorf. What that's going to look like at your trade fair booth, I'll see you now in the marketing department. We're now in the communications and marketing department, and as we can see, it's all about the K-Trade Fair 2016. One can see the plants hanging here already six months before the trade fair. They will be able to be seen, realized in Hall 14. Hall 14 is a tradition for us, with two booths again as in previous years, which we will then combine in one visual concept. You can see this at the front here. We have a kind of rounded forum where the focus is then directly on the machine. What I find really great is that you're going to bring those trade fair visitors who would like to with the shuttle service from Düsseldorf to Bonn here close by, which means one can not only see your exhibit at the trade fair but also visit your factory. Yes, above all to see the machines. That's what's particularly interesting for our guests at the trade fair booth. If they're not in the packaging industry, for example, that they can take the shuttle bus and we bring them here to our factory in Bonn. That's terrific. We'll meet again in Düsseldorf. I'm going to take the shuttle bus and try this out for myself. Kirschbaumer, thank you for your time. Thank you. That was my day at Kautex Maschinenbau in Bonn. Far too short a time to get to know the company thoroughly, but long enough to know that their booze at the K Trade Fair in autumn will be well worth a visit. If you like, we'll meet there again.